Hi guys, so today we're going to be doing um, a soft smoky eye, not really a soft smoky eye, uh, more like the Kim Kardashian silver and bronze eye she had. Um, I'll put a picture up so you guys can see. Um So I already have my foundation, my concealer, my powder on and I filled in my brow so we can just move straight to the eyes. Um, we're going to start off with an eye primer and I'm using Paint Pot by MAC. So just take a concealer brush or any synthetic brush and just apply it all over your lids. Just take a little bit, not too much. And apply it all the way up to your brow bone and make sure you get the inside too. It's very important to have it um, even and well blended in. This way your eyeshadows don't get too muddy. Alright, so <clears throat> my paint pots usually um, crease on me. a very oily eyelid. So what I like to do is I just like to take my blot powder by matte. And I have the medium dark color. And just take, hmm, just take any brush and I just like to go over my eyelids, kind of just press it in. Okay, so that was my eye primer. Now the second thing I like to apply is an eye base. Eye base and eye primer are two different things. Uh, what I'm going to use is Makeup Forever Aqua Cream. And I'm using Aqua Queen number three. And it's very bright silver. Very, very bright. So um, all you need is very, very little. Like probably that much. I don't know if you could see. And I'm just going to put this on my lid. This stuff is so good. It dries so fast. Doesn't crease. This stuff dries so fast, it's like smudge proof, so once it's on, you got to work with it really fast because it won't come off. Okay, next, um, I'm going to do my highlight first, and I am using, I think Vanilla by MAC. Just got to double check. Never mind, this is rice paper. Right here, this color. By MAC. Um, I like using rice paper as my my highlight so just take a little bit and right under the brow bone vanilla works well too um, I have the vanilla pigment it's kind of too shimmery for me and I like this matte highlight so I'll get that covered um, next I got this from the body shop it was $24 and this is palette number two and it comes with this we're gonna be using the silver today so just take a flat shade of brush like this grab some silver and we're just gonna apply it like a little bit and just on your lid tap it in This is so pigmented, like it's so great, it's so soft. Next. You need, um, let's see. So many brushes. This is close to the MAC one. I lost my MAC one, so I'm going to use the Sigma one. And what we're going to take is we're going to take Espresso from MAC. That color right there. It's very subtle brown. Um, so just, I don't know if you can see. Just roll it in there. Step off. And you're just going to go in your crease. Now, I like to go all the way in. Some people don't. But um, I'm just going to show you how it is. So just in your crease, back and forth. I like to go all the way in. and forth all the way in 
and you can take it up just a little bit higher. So we are going to put another brown in. So you can see this is very subtle. Um, if you want, you can leave it like this. If you want to make it a little bit more dramatic, you can go in for another brown, just the corner. So I'm just going to add a little bit of more brown. So I got this palette um, from Modern Basics for competing in their makeup competition. They gave me a free palette. It's very nice, such nice colors. Pretty sure you can buy it too. So I'm going to use this brown. It's just a little bit darker than the other one, and I'm going to be using a little bit more of a stiffer brush. So not so flimsy, this way I have more control on this outer area. So, I'm going to pick up some brown, same way, just roll this brush in your eyeshadow like that. And first I'm going to spin it in the outside socket. So just spin it there, and then I'm just going to take it in a little bit. I'm not going to take this in all the way, since we have the other brown and we have espresso in there. So just out here, and a little bit higher in the crease. If you want, you can flick it in. I don't like to do it. A little bit higher in the crease. Okay, go back and just blend it all. Okay. Now what we're going to do, um, I'm just going to go do my eyeliner and my mascara. So I have um, lined my upper lash line, and I've also lined my waterline, and I used Makeup Forever Aqua Eyes. This is my favorite waterline pencil, it's so good. And I use mascara and everything, so my eyes are done. Um, next what she has was, she didn't have very much of a blush on, um, it was more of a contour and a highlight. She was very glowy. So um, what I like to use is I like to use NARS's in Casino. It's their bronzer. And just take fluffy angled brush like this. Pick up some color. You can do fish face so you know where your cheekbone is and you go just a little bit under and you just swipe it out um, sometimes when I don't get enough I take a stiffer brush this is from Sephora and I just like to go right on the outer edge right under my cheekbone just like to go just go back and forth. This is my favorite contour brush. Um, it's a little bit more defined and dramatic. You can probably see how much you can see it. But I don't really like using fluffy brushes for contouring. I feel like it needs to be very sharp and not muddy looking. So just on the outside right here, I don't go in too deep into the cheeks. And just blend it up. Next, um, this is very comparable to the Bobbi Brown Shimmer Brick. For people that can't afford it, um, I would recommend to go to the Body Shop and get the Shimmering Waves. I love this stuff, it's so good. And I guess you can go back with the same brush, just kind of clean it off. Pick some up. So usually a little bit on the forehead, down the nose, and your chin, above your cheekbone. if you guys can see it or not. It's actually really shimmery. It's got like a goldeny brown shimmer to it. And next, what she did for lips, she went completely nude with a frosty pink. I didn't really, I don't like that. So I'm just going to use a bare pencil to line my lips. This is from uh, Modern Basics. Sorry, I'm just wearing lip chap. I'm going to take that off. So I like to line my lips and fill it in, so just in case you lose the lipstick color, at least you still have the lip liner. And it's a good base for your lipstick too. Uh, 
I'm just gonna use this brown. Hardly does, hardly gives me any color. Just a little bit of gloss. That's it. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this Kim Kardashian soft smoky look. Being a makeup artist, I feel there is no competition. I am not afraid to tell you guys what I use because makeup is an art form and you know everybody's different. I Everybody has a different way of doing makeup so there's no way that I think that I'm in a competition with anybody else. You know that's their style of doing makeup, this is my style but I just want you guys to know that you know I have nothing to hide. You know, some people don't like sharing the products they use because they think, oh, other makeup artists are going to see this and then they're going to use the same products. Well, I'm pretty sure they're already using the good products that I've been using. And it's just a way of applying it differently with the different tools and just the way you place the makeup. And that's all depends on everybody because everybody's artistic in a very different way. So, yeah. Um, you know, if you guys have any questions or concerns, you guys can find me on Facebook, Twitter. Uh, check out my blog. I will post up pictures and a video in there too. And yeah, thank you for watching. Take care.